So we know uh, we're a destination city now. People are moving here, continuing to see growth. And with that growth comes more cars on the roads. That's why the city of Greenville is moving towards an intelligent transportation system designed to make it easier to drive on our major corridors. They're your, your larger roads like Lawrence Road, Pleasantburg, Wade Hampton Boulevard, Stone Avenue, Augusta Street. Um, carry a large volume of traffic, um, have a lot of commercial and kind of retail um, centers along those roads. That, so they, uh, they're, they're creating destinations for people to get to as well as uh, kind of handling that commuter traffic day in and day out. Engineering Services Director Clint Link says when traffic moves smoothly and efficiently on the corridors, it prevents drivers from detouring and creating safety concerns in neighborhoods. What that does is that prevents these cars from driving through our neighborhoods and kind of cut through uh, streets to get from, you know, one side of town to the other. We want them using um, the main roads, um, but we got to have a system in place that accommodates that. Traffic management received $8 million to the neighborhood infrastructure bond. Projects include additional protections in school zones, illuminated street signs for better visibility, real-time traffic monitoring to reduce congestion during rush hour, and uninterruptible traffic signals in the event of a power outage. Think about some of these major roads that are carrying 30,000 cars a day. Uh, you have a few signals out, it, it creates a lot of confusion. Obviously, it creates a, a major safety concern for us. Um, so maintaining operations of those signals is, is critical to keeping the roads safe, to keeping traffic moving um, during those instances where we have power outages. Keeping roadways clear will improve response time for emergency vehicles. New technology will allow firefighters to preempt traffic lights. We need these roads to move our emergency vehicles, to move our transit vehicles safely and efficiently through the city. So um, all of these investments we're kind of making to our traffic system, ultimately that's, that's some of the main goals is improving safety. Coming soon, a traffic management center, a hub under construction at our new Halton Road Public Safety Complex where engineers can make adjustments in real time and provide emergency alerts. Uh, we can see when there's a traffic incident and we can make adjustments and, and get the public information out there if we need to. Um, to disseminate, you know, public awareness and that sort of thing. Collecting historical data will guide engineers in future traffic planning. As Greenville grows, we're investing in council priorities, including mobility, public safety, neighborhoods, and economic development. I'm Lauren Thomas for the City of Greenville.